We purchased this unit for an office addition that was being built for our automotive shop. It was simple to install and set up. It's amazingly quiet. Honestly we can't even tell it is on while inside the office and barely hear it outside of the office. We have the thermostat set to 80 and honestly it feels degrees cooler. We are very impressed with this unit. Setup is also DIY. You can get the tools from Amazon or even a local tool store and make setup a breeze. We loved it so much that a second unit was purchased by a worker to add to his home. Note that we are in Northern California and have 100 plus weather for months on end. My wife and I recently installed a 24,000 BTU cassette style unit to help cool our 1,000 square foot home. I did the majority of the installation myself with an HVAC service coming out to nitrogen pressure test, purge, evacuate and add refrigerant to the system as I ordered a 33 foot line set with the unit. Also, for whatever it's worth, in many areas it's frowned up also read as, illegal, to install a mini split yourself and, without an EPA HVAC cert, it's big time illegal, on the federal level, to release the refrigerant charge yourself. Know the reg slash codes before you start. Below I will go over my initial operation thoughts as well as my thoughts slash likes slash dislikes for the installation as much of the info I needed for this install was not easily found within these reviews or elsewhere online. I do all my work to a very high slash overbuilt level. Some of the below may seem excessive. To each their own. Operation, this unit has been running for about a week in our home and thus far it has performed amazingly well. The indoor cassette is quiet with just a low level fan whoosh sound while operating. The sound level is very low. In auto mode the fan will modulate its speed automatically. Once the desired temp is reached the fan will reduce to its slowest mode and the AC will reduce operation to maintain the temp. The fan runs all the time to circulate air regardless of AC operation. We exclusively use the follow me mode where the unit will take the temp as greg by the remote control and not from the unit thermostat. We also opted to use slash install the remote register option and that vent blows nice cool air as well helping to cool the more remote areas of the home. As a loose reference, in our 1,000 square featuring home it took 30 to 40 minutes for the unit to cool the house from 77 to 71 on a humid 75 degree day. The outdoor unit operation is nearly silent. I have to walk up to the unit and look at the fan to see if it's running. When the HVAC tech first turned the unit on I thought the unit was broken because the outdoor unit made so little noise. I was impressed by this as noise was one of my main concerns. While I have nothing but good things to say about the unit's operation, the installation is a different story as you'll see below. I encountered a hundred little annoying installation nuances that started to annoy me more than anything. So much so that it made me rethink the purchase while installing. Installation Instructions The installation instructions are 70% there in my opinion. They cover some areas in painful detail, which is awesome, while other areas, such as wiring and the condensate connection info, I was left wanting. Luckily, their chat support is pretty good and I was able to download other documents from their website to supplement the install. So while not great, I was able to get by. If you look at all the cardboard inserts from the indoor unit packing material you'll find a template for installing the indoor unit. Since it was face down in the packaging it just looked like an extra piece of cardboard. I didn't find the template until the end when I was recycling the boxes. Cassette installation, the indoor system itself is very well constructed but it is large. Click link in description for more reviews and best price.